<laughs> Molly Hall has a special signature. It's her spirited smile. All right, okay, finish it. <laughs> Little squeaker. For loving dad Don, working on Molly's independence is a priority. Molly is a larger than life character, let me tell you. When it comes to, uh, when, when you see her smile, she just brightens your heart and, and it's, it, like I said, she amazes me every other day with some of the things that she does. I, I told my wife when we found out what, she, what when she was diagnosed with cerebral palsy, we said, we're not gonna treat her any differently. To accomplish that, the Hall family relies on tools, especially technology. The Dynavox is, is mainly designed as a communication box itself. It, it, it has a voice activation, so if she types in a word, she hits send, it'll speak for her. Molly seems to have better control of her feet than her hands and uses them to type her messages on the Dynavox. Here, she's communicating her favorite subject in school. Math. But a computer laptop is what maximizes the Dynavox tool, allowing Molly to complete homework using wireless remote. The computer from her school district was turning into more of a barrier than a tool. It was kind of archaic. It was missing a few buttons. The district it didn't work. It kind of kept freezing up on us. and It would glitch out on us. So she'd lose all of her homework. Six months after Don's request for a new computer, Molly was still waiting. So Dad took matters into his own hands. I used my resources and where I, I came across with Melissa from the Children's Miracle Network. When I got the, the request for the grant, unfortunately our funding had been completely committed for the uh, remaining portion of the fiscal year and we weren't going to be able to approve a grant for Molly's computer uh, until after July 1st. Well, it, it needed to happen sooner, so I sent an email off to our Director of Information Technology and asked if we had maybe something that was near the end of its life cycle that we might be able to pull to get her through until funding could become available. Yeah, we immediately started looking for uh, something that would would uh, would work for her. I found myself missing a couple parts, called our Dell representative, and she was actually the one that suggested the donation. The Dell sales representative was able to secure a full donation of a brand new laptop built to Molly's specifications for uh, her to use, and they donated that to Children's Miracle Network to be passed along to her. Two weeks went by and she called me back up. She goes, I got a surprise for you. We were able to give Molly a brand new computer, which I was shocked. I expected to get maybe one that was already used and whatnot. And she also was able to supply us with all the software that needed as well, which is a, a, a blessing. You know, money's tight now. Everybody knows that. So it was, that computer was, was a pretty penny. You know, and there's no way I, I could have afforded for it at this time, at least. It was definitely a, a lift off my shoulder financially. It wasn't just Children's Miracle Network, and it wasn't just Dell, and it wasn't just IT. It was all of us working together. It doesn't matter what department we're in. If we can help, we do. The fact that everybody coordinated really well was, and, and the time it took to get it really was, was, was amazingly fast. I can't say enough to thank Melissa and Michael. But Molly can. Her message to Salinas Valley Memorial Healthcare System, Children's Miracle Network, and Dell. Thanks.